channel. I'm Olivia. So today we are getting into my first blind buy review. Honest to God, I don't think I've ever blind bought a perfume in my entire life. I think every single perfume, I'm looking at my perfumes right now, I don't think not a single one of those perfumes have been blind bought. I either know what they smell like or I've made them myself because as you guys likely do not know, I am a perfumer, so I do custom make perfumes in Chicago. Currently, I am not in Chicago. I'm in Kentucky because of the quarantine, because I'm a student and all of my classes are online and I'm asthmatic. So it'd be crazy for me to stay in a big old city when a pandemic is happening. That's just like not, that's not smart. Instead, I am home in Kentucky, bored with online access to perfume. And so I'm on the hunt for a really good spring summertime fragrance. So this is my, this is the first blind buy that I have. And so I also want to make sure that you guys know that this isn't like a first impressions. If you guys do like first impressions, let me know. Right now it's just going to be a review. So the fragrance today that we're talking about is Amaretto et Framboise Poudre by, I don't know if it's a hundred bon or on sent bon because I literally, it's a hundred, like the number a hundred and then bon, which is good. And then the way that you say a hundred in French is son, and it's right under it, like in tiny little letters right under the logo or the name, it says Saint Bon. The website itself is all French unless you put it in English and then it turns into pounds and everything. That's not where I bought it but I just wanted to look at it, see what it's about. I actually wanted to see the history, career opportunities and see what they're all about. So you get this 1.7 or 50 milliliter bottle in a very cool but minimal bottle or I mean box and it's recyclable. On the back it says that they use natural ingredients um, using organic wheat alcohol instead of like a synthetic alcohol which is what my perfumery does and then you can also trace all of their raw materials. They have many products but their perfumes, hand soaps and everything are refillable which is really cool. Every product is also 100% recyclable which I really like. I really enjoy the basis of this perfume company. That's why I was really interested in career opportunities because if they are looking for a perfumer or an accountant, because technically I studied accounting, but like that ain't my passion. But if they're looking for it, I'm here. I'm here willing and waiting for a career opportunity. Okay, that's it. This bad boy on Saks Off Fifth was $34.99. As you can tell by the title, it is Amaretto Framboise Poudre. It is going to be a very boozy fragrance with um, raspberries, framboise. When looking at the notes online before buying it, it was exactly what I thought it would be. So it was amaretto and framboise. I mean, what? It was amaretto and raspberry, but it also had a little bit of orange in it, which I was excited about. And then orange blossom. I really like neroli, so I was excited about that. And roses, amber and vanilla. And I'm guessing the amber and vanilla were just to help amaretto fruits and flowers blend together because those are very warm base notes and they help blend things together. It's kind of like you can't paint watercolor without water. It would be the water. Amber is definitely the water when it comes to this painting analogy. I was really excited about this fragrance. I've been on the hunt for a fruity fragrance with a little bit of roses or something for springtime. So I thought this would be it. It would have a little bit of warmth in it. It's not exactly what I thought it would be, but I don't really know what I thought it would be when it has amaretto and raspberry in it. I don't know. I think I was just more excited to get a fruity fragrance than I was about the ingredients, even though each note is exactly what I like. When I first sprayed it, my mom immediately reacted. She's like, you don't look that happy. You can still return it, like, don't worry. And I was like, no, the reviews were really good. And they said a few things. I'm gonna just let it 
settle, figure itself out, and we'll see what happens. The impact it has on you is like very brutal, like candy, but alcohol, but I let it settle figure itself out and I'm so glad I did because then I got like a super happy face, happy smile on my face and it just smells so welcoming and warm and once it figures itself out on your body, it's one of a kind. I sprayed it on my mom, she, her, it, on her, it instantly turned into this light powdery raspberry fragrance with a hint of almond. It was like very beautiful. But on me, it's a very heavy, warm, fruity fragrance that's very inviting. Like it's very different, but they're both inviting. They're both unique. It's just one of the best things about natural fragrances. And if it's done well, it'll smell different on every single person, but it'll smell good on every single person. It just smells like that's why I'm wearing this very cozy sweater because I feel like it goes with the vibe of it. It's definitely a spring, summer fragrance at night. In the autumn and winter, it's going to be a daytime fragrance. It's very light. It's light enough that you can wear it in the autumn and winter during the day, but it's too heavy for that in the spring and summer, especially the summertime. It is going to be a nighttime scent all the way. It is like 50 degrees today. So just keep that in mind. If you're able to wear a sweater, that's when you would wear this. It's something that you would have to wear when you wanna cozy up. It's too heavy for when you wanna be naked because it's so hot. It's just, it would literally suffocate you if that were the case. I think the kind of person that would wear this because technically it is unisex, I think it is unisex in a way where it's like once it settles on the skin, that fruitiness is still there, but it's kind of like waving in the background like, Sorry guys. but it's not overpowering. So I could see a man wearing this. this. The man would be someone who would have to be super strong with what he believes in because it is a sweet fragrance. So it has to be someone who's just like, I like fragrances because I like fragrances. I don't pick a fragrance because Sephora told me to or my girlfriend bought it for me. It's something that like he chose it. He enjoys fragrances. He wants to smell unique. He doesn't only want to smell good. He wants to smell great and unique and something very inviting about him. So this fragrance for women is going to be some girl who wore fruity gourmand fragrances when they were little, although I didn't and I still like it. But this, it's a character, okay? She wore those fragrances and now she's all grown up and she is warm and inviting. She's the kind of girl who like when you walk into a party, she was waiting for you the whole entire time. And like, even though you know in your right mind, she wasn't waiting for you. You can't help but be captivated by how she acts because it seems like she was waiting for you. You're the only person that she cares about. That's exactly the kind of vibe that I get. Every time that I smell this in the bottle, it's like something tries to change my mind about how I see this woman because it's so sweet and raspberry in the bottle. So that's one thing. If you're someone who can't look at a bottle and be like, I remember what that smells like. I'm gonna pick that bottle for today. You have to actually smell them. This might sway you because it smells completely different in the bottle than it does on your body. I will be 100% keeping this. I think A, it's a beautiful minimal bottle. If they said that this was like $100 or like even $200, like a La La Bo fragrance, I would be like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Even even though I don't really like that raspberry fragrance, I'm so thankful it dissipates on my body because it just smells so inviting. Like I feel so, like I wanna hug myself right now. Like I just, mm. is that weird? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this review and you look into this company, Saint Bon. I'll keep their links down below, including the link to the Saks Off Fit version that I got this at specifically. If you guys do really like the review that I did, please comment, like, and subscribe just to let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.